prelefts, I thought Bishop was definitely going to get at least six. Um, I also thought Crone would have got at least five or six as well. Obviously, him hitting five in the competition before. Because I think it's him and Janash have the, the record at five apiece. So I guess it's tied between them two. But Bishop looked really strong up until the fifth rep where he lost his uh, path bar. Or his bar of path. Is that right? So basically that threw him out whack a wee bit. And then obviously him trying to lift that in the fifth rep kind of like tired him up quicker. I think he would have got six at least if he had got that fifth one up. Because he was just banging him out. He was just being consistent or consistently smooth. Obviously the two stances are different between Bishop and Caron. Cronin was a lot wider, and Bishop was obviously a lot narrower. Uh, Cronin for me looked a lot sort of slower, he didn't look as strong as he has done in the past. Um, for me, Bishop looked like he was handling it a lot easier. Um, but if you've watched Big uh, Loz's video, it just, it's 400 kilo, like, 400 kilo is a lot of weight. And to be repping that, not many people in the world can actually do that. Like, a very small percentage. Like, most people can't even strongman level maybe hit 400 comfortably like but they they were banging them out for fun like you know bishop just looked super strong it's just really unfortunate neither of them saw broke the record today um i had high hopes and i was really interested to see who was going to win that uh, i had real big high hopes that bishop was going to win it but at the end of the day it's 400 kilo it's massive amount of weight and we have just literally been spoiled by these athletes being able to lift these mad weights or do them for reps like it's it's a huge task like and it's so tasking uh, i imagine both of them are pretty sore today but that's all i've really got to say on the whole deadlift really to be honest um there's not much else to say like it's just it was unfortunate bishop looked super strong so did crone it was just a bit slower i saw it pulling the weight up so it's two different stances two different styles um and then hopefully in the short future we'll see at least maybe one of these guys break that record or even in competition i reckon they'll probably be in competition as it's uh, sort of probably the next thing to come up uh but yeah that's all for me uh don't forget to go buy some merchandise from spreadshirt and uh enjoy your day peace out Okay guys, so the second installment of the 400 kilogram deadlift for reps just happened there um, between JF Caron from Canada and Adam Bishop from the UK. And I think both guys are going to be really gutted after that performance. I think the two of them have both planned to do a lot better than they did. Um, I, so did I, to be honest. Um, I mean, I was still. I think the the two of them both pulled, uh, four hundred kilograms for four reps, which is just insane. You know, that's a crazy level of strength. But JF didn't look like he had it in him at all. It definitely wasn't wasn't the strongest JF um, we've ever seen, and I think he'll admit that himself. Um, he seemed confident going into it, but from his first well no sorry his first rep looked very good um it looked real strong real fast but he seemed to be struggling with his lockout quite quite severely at the at the top of the movement and then by the second rep i was like mm, this doesn't look good and he he got four and it was a grind and then he tried a fifth and i think he did tweak something in his hamstring or his glute or something it didn't didn't look too nice though but hopefully he recovers well from that and goes on to have a really successful year because I know he is planning to do some big things this year. And I hope he does because he is... He's a class strong man. I really do like him. Um, real s consistent, successful guy. Um, he's always the underdog and he always performs. And I think in the last three or four years, he's always been fifth um, world's strongest man, which is, you know... So sorry, fourth or fifth, I can't remember. And you know that's um, that's nothing to turn your nose up at, really. He was already the record holder going into this um, for four hundred kilograms, um, for sixty seconds. He'd done five reps. Him and Konstantin Janasha from Georgia, uh, both shared that title. And yeah, so I expected a little bit more from him going in. I thought at least five reps because he had the extra fifteen seconds, but it just wasn't there on the day. And. Then we get the Bish. 
Oh my days. I have to say I'm disappointed. Um, I was really rooting for him going into this. I thought he had it in the bag, really. Um, I thought he had prepped perfectly for this. And he's usually somebody who um, builds up to a meet or a competition like perfectly to, to get the best performance out of himself on the day. I think he was a bit too enthusiastic, a little bit naive maybe going into it. He had pulled the four, first four reps so quickly and so smoothly that I think he got a bit carried away with himself and um, he just went straight in, tried to go for five and lost his positioning. You can see his hips came up a wee bit too soon and he just lost his line and the bar went forward, he went forward with it and he just couldn't get the hitch really. It was just, um, it just fell back down over his knees because he was leaning too far forward. As he said himself, once you make a mistake at that kind of weight, um, there's just no recovering really. There's no way of coming back. You're just, uh, you know, it's always going to be an uphill battle really. Um, once you've made a mistake with that much weight, you know, an inch or something's enough to just drive you into the ground. But I think he should have just taken a little bit more time in between. I don't think he realized just how long 75 seconds can be. Um, especially when you're only aiming for six or you know six reps say to win is what he needed six or seven reps so 75 seconds is a long time to get that many reps even with 400 kilos but you know four you know one rep 100 400 kilos is quite incredible um so to get four is insane and to get six or seven would have been next level but as um Lawrence Chalet and stuff were saying that um to get an extra rep of that kind of weight you, you're talking about having another 20 kilos on your one rep max really you know so um say 440 got you five reps to get a sixth rep you need at least a 460 deadlift and uh, there's not many people in the world right now who could um put their name down and saying they've got a 460 deadlift so you know um being up there um that kind of those kind of numbers means you're up in the top of the world in terms of one round maxes you know so it's pretty cool to have a guy from the the uk um pushing those kind of boundaries at the minute and um, putting his name up there with the big dogs in the deadlift world at the minute so hopefully he just continues on pushes that because i definitely think he had it on the day he just didn't play the game you know he um he just needed to think a little bit more compose himself and just take the whole 75 seconds because i think if he had he would have got it and you know he'd be sitting right now with the world record and uh you know over some of the best guys in the world really you know but i have to say i really enjoyed this deadlift series on um, the two 400 kilo for reps um challenges i think they were really interesting and um pretty humbling you know to see those guys struggling so much with the weight um but it just kind of you know Gives you a bit more respect for what 400 kilos is you know and you shouldn't be expecting you know 450 500 plus pulls from everybody nowadays because it's just not going to happen um but 400 kilos is just a crazy weight and to see these guys doing it for reps was just really eye-opening um just um as a you know an above average lifter to see that kind of weight being lifted and thrown about for a bit but then also see those guys struggling with that weight um just kind of you know it gives you respect for some of the the bigger bigger pulls that you see you know the 450 plus pulls just shows you how much it takes to get that but um big respect to everybody who took part in this feats of strength series i really enjoyed it um but i believe that's not it at an end um, i think the log press and all the deadlift attempts were probably my favorite um if not a little bit disappointing in places but you know that is it is what it is um they didn't have crowds they just had to perform on the day in front of a select few people um so you know i think they all did really well and they should all be proud of their um attempts um every single one of them and well done to everybody who did compete in it and achieve whatever they achieved um and i just hope that they all continue on and show that drive and determination later on in the year and uh, whenever the live events start up again so yeah uh thanks for watching all our reaction videos guys we love the support you gave us and hopefully we can now move on to a new direction with this part of the channel. Comment underneath and 
tell us what you would like us to react to or things you want us to comment on and give our thoughts on uh, whether it's just um, anything in the strength athletics world um, anything you want to hear us talk about give our opinions on and see what we think uh, but yeah guys thanks for the support as always catch you later